you ever been told that you snore so loudly that you could bring the whole house down? Well, this could just be an alarming signal from your airway. Now let's dive deep into understanding what this means and when this could become dangerous. I am Dr. Gethika, dental sleep medicine specialist and a health and wellness coach, here to discuss with you about the different sleep-related breathing disorders. So when we look at snoring versus UARS versus OSA, it's all different intensity of a similar problem. So now let's look at each of this one by one. The first one is snoring. Snoring is primarily caused due to vibration of the soft tissue due to partial airway collapse. The next thing that we should talk about is the upper airway resistance syndrome. This is when your airway is not blocked but your body is finding it difficult to breathe. So there is an extra effort of respiration because of which you are fatigued and then you wake up tired and so on. The next thing is obstructive sleep apnea. This is where you will have episodes of complete cessation of breathing at least for a few seconds and this could happen over many events th during the night. So what happens because of this? Your brain sends panic signals, your heart starts racing and eventually your sleep is completely disrupted. Untreated OSA could lead to hypertension, poor memory and concentration. It could increase your risk for diabetes, heart attacks and stroke and could worsen your depression and anxiety. So your sleep is not just a luxury, but it's a necessity for survival. So the next time your partner complains of you snoring or you wake up tired despite sleeping for eight hours, you know what to get evaluated for. Next up, we'll dive into understanding about the diagnosis of a sleep apnea and the steps involved in it.